Typo3 is famed for its support for multiple languages. And in this short video, we're going to add a new language to our installation and start translating our content. So to begin with, we have a really basic installation of Typo3 and I've got three pages. And right now I have some very basic content on my About Us page. So I've only got one language running on my site right now and I want to add a second language to my site so that I can translate my content into my second language, which is going to be Welsh. So the first thing I need to do is head over to the site management module in the back end. And I've already got one site in my installation, so I'm going to edit that. And then I'm going to head over to the languages tab. So the languages tab gives us the ability to add or create a new language and add it to our Type 3 installation. And ultimately, all I want to do is add a second language to my site and start translating my English content over to Welsh. So the first thing I need to do is create a new language. So I select the Create New Language button, and now it's asking me to fill out some information about my new language. So the first thing I'm going to provide is a title for my language. And for my use case, and I'd expect most use cases, I want this to be visible in the front end. The next thing it needs is an entry point, and for my example, I'm going to use CY as the entry point for my site. This means that if you browse my website with slash CY appended to it, you will find the Welsh version. Next, we're going to provide our locale information. And this information is primarily used for extension development. I now need to provide information that will be used to render the front end in my second language. So I'm going to give it a navigation title, and I'm also going to provide a language tag as well. Next, we can tell the CMS what to do if content doesn't exist in our new language. And we call this fallback types. Right now, the fallback type is set to strict, so it will only show translated content. If I have a piece of content that's in English and doesn't exist in Welsh, on the Welsh page, we won't see any content whatsoever. And finally, we need to select a flag for our new backend language. So we've added a new language to our site, which means we can now go ahead and add content in our new language. However, before we start doing that, we need to think about how we go about translating our pages into our new language. If I now go to the About Us page in my site, I now have the option to create a new translation for my page. And what this is going to do is create a new page that will contain our Welsh content. So I'll give it a page title in my new language. And you'll notice in the URL segment, not only do we have our Welsh page title, but we also have the CY prefix, which we set up earlier. So we have our page translated, but right now I can only see content in English. So the first thing I'm going to do under the Languages dropdown is select All Languages. Now we have both our English and Welsh content available to us. So there's two things you'll notice. First of all, our Welsh page translation is disabled by default. That's because there's no content on it because we just created it. You'll also notice a translation button, and this is really important. When we select a translation button, we're given two options. We can either translate the content from its parent language, or we can copy the content from its parent language. So I'm going to select translate content. And what this is going to do is create a relationship between all of the English content on my page and then create placeholder content that I need to translate to Welsh. And again, my content that needs to be translated into Welsh is currently disabled. So let's go ahead and add my translated content. There's only two things I really need to provide, one of which is a headline in Welsh. And then I need to provide the actual body of text in Welsh as well. I'm using the text and images content element. Um, I'm going to keep the image the same. I don't need to provide a Welsh version for that. But if I need to, I can also provide a different image for the Welsh version as well. So there's two things left to do. The first thing I need to do is enable my Welsh content element, which we just created. 
And then the last thing I need to do is enable my Welsh page, which we translated earlier on. So let's head over to the front end and take a look at our multilingual content. So this is my site's content in English. And at the bottom of the page, we have a language menu. And from here, I can switch between English and Welsh. So if I select the Welsh option or Cymraic, the page will now be loaded in Welsh. 